Hey up everyone, I've got a bit of rant video for you today. But before I get onto that, just wanted to mention the drawings that you can see. I've got one for Labrador in white and black charcoal on toned paper. And then following that, you're going to see two Akitas in white charcoal on black paper. Well, with a tiny bit of black charcoal, you might spy it appear here and there. But it's mostly white charcoal on black paper. So anyway, let's get back to the topic of the video, which is people expecting artists to work for free. Quite an antagonising topic for most artists out there. I think we've all had situations where people have expected us to work for free and I've had a few recent ones where people have expected me to work for free or for basically pittance so I just wanted to have a little bit of a rant about it and one recent one where on Instagram I had somebody contact me and saying can you do me a drawing and I just got a little sneaky feeling that this person wanted free work so I answered and I just put I do paid commissions so anyway they got back to me a bit later and they says <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. If you could do it for free, I'd gear a shout out on my three pages. So I replied and I basically just give her a few own truths, basically just tell her to take artists a little bit more seriously. I mean, firstly, she can give me a shout out on her three pages, but it, it won't come to anything for me because it never does. If anybody were to contact me as a result of somebody who just wants work for free, they're more likely to be people that also just want work for free. So it's just not really going to work out in my favour. Secondly, it's she don't even know me. I don't know her. She's a complete stranger. I've done a lot of work for a lot of people who've paid and a lot of them are friends and what have you who have come back time and time and again, repeat clients and I've always paid what I've asked and then she comes along, a complete stranger and she wants it for note and she thinks, somehow thinks that she's more special than all them other people, you know, some of them friends and what have you who come back time and time and again who enable me to continue doing what I do because they pay me. And she somehow seems to think that she's more special than them and should get some for free what they have to pay for. So it's just completely disrespectful to all my other clients who pay. So I did point this out to her. I mean, it's like what all, about all my other clients that pay. It's like, you know, you can't just get things for free when everybody else pays. Why, why are you special over everybody else? So just don't ask artists to work for free. It's just really annoying when, when you get people expecting you to slog your guts out and, and not even get paid for your time and, and your materials art materials are not cheap they're expensive so you, you just shouldn't do it and we don't get discount on bills and things like that we have to pay the same bills that everybody else has to pay in life so we need to be able to pay them bills and earn as much money as what other people need to earn to pay their bills and that's just how it goes so you can't expect us to be working for free and it's same as people who want us to work for pittance i had some guy again another stranger come along and he asked me price of my paintings so i told him you know price of an a4 painting he says oh that's too much he says maybe if you do it for price of an a5 one and it's like a4 is my most popular size i've had a lot of people order a4 size paintings and you know a lot of, again a lot of repeat clients that are friends they've got multiple dogs and they have a painting per dog and they've paid me what i want every time without question and then he comes along and wants it loads cheap and what all them have paid and he doesn't even know me and it's like it probably would have been a one-off so I told him no I'm not doing it it's not worth my time and if if you start going down that road as an artist you end up burning out because you're slogging your guts out and working like extra hard for next to no money and you will just burn out so if you're an artist just don't fall into that trap don't let anybody make you lower your prices or work for free just don't do it now there might be a, the odd few situations that where you might be willing to work for free say as you know, if you were doing like a gift for somebody, somebody you know, the loved one, like a Christmas present, birthday present, and you can decide how big a work and how much time you spend on it, all that kind of thing. You're just doing it as a gift for somebody. Or you might be doing it for charity. You know, again, you can decide how much you're willing to donate in your time and resources, etc, etc. Or you might be doing like a two-way favour where the favours are actually sort of equal in value. So I don't think giving a shout out on an Instagram page constitutes equal value to doing an original piece piece of art somehow so even if you've got a thousand different pages I still don't think it constitutes equal value so don't offer something like that because it's just not going to be of much interest to any artist that knows the drill you might get some young naive artists people starting out who might mistakenly believe that something will come out of it but they'll soon learn otherwise because no ever comes out of it your best paying clients come from being plugged by your paying clients the people that want free work are just likely to bring you more clients well more people that just want free work so if, if you're an artist just starting out and you're tempted to do something like that, just don't because you basically want to target the right market. And, and if you're going to 
pull stunts like that, you're going to be attracting the market. Well, it's not really a market, is it, when they're wanting everything for naught? But you're going to be attracting the people that just want free work. And you're never really going to be able to make it all out your artwork and make it into a career, you know, doing it like that. So you, you just don't want to be going down that road. You want to charge properly for your time and your resources and just stop doing things for free just because you think that, you know, you're scared to ask for any money or, or scared to ask for what you're actually worth because it, it will affect you in the long run. It's it's not just about short term. You've got to think about the long term and you need to be getting to the right people who are willing to pay for art and not just attracting the people that want it for naught. So, yeah, it might be a little bit more difficult in the beginning, but at the end of the day, if you fall into that trap in the beginning then, and think that you're gaining it short term, then trust me, in long term, you're going to be losing out. You, and you'll end up burning out because you're slogging away trying to produce so much work and getting not really enough comeback from it or no comeback from it. And that's just how it'll go. So people just need to stop asking artists to work for free. They wouldn't ask most other kinds of professionals to work for free, you know, like people who fix cars or people who come and fix your house and things like that, carpet you know masonry work all that kind of thing any other sort of kind of thing that people do as a service you just don't ask people to do it for free so you don't ask it from artists either just because you look at it as just being like an hobby for a lot of people it's more than an hobby it's the actual career and they're doing it for a living and I'm doing it for a living now so I can't be just producing work for nothing I've got to concentrate on paid work for paying clients because that's what pays my bills and allows me to continue being an artist. And another thing about people who want free work and they want to pay for it via exposure, like the person I had on Instagram recently, it's like, what do they expect all the other people that then see me work because they've, you know, promoted it? What do they expect them to do? Ask for it for free also or pay? And if they expect them to pay, why do they expect them to pay? They've had it free, so why would they expect everybody else to pay? All these other people could say, well, I'll give you a shout out on my page as well. So if things worked like that, nobody would end up paying and I'd just be doing loads and loads and loads of works for all these people that don't pay for my work. And it's like, am I going to make a living from that? It's just not realistic, is it? And it's just complete prime example of that original person thinking they're more special than everybody else because they think they should get it free, but everybody else should pay. So they need to get over themselves, don't they, really? And when you get artists agreeing to do art for free or for too cheap, it's not just damaging themselves, it's also damaging other artists because what they're doing is creating a population of people who just expect artwork to be free or cheap. And then they go to other artists and say, well, this artist does it for free or cheap. So you're just damaging the whole art profession. And I've also recently had artists say that they've been told that they shouldn't charge for the work because you can just print off a picture. I mean, how can you compare a printed picture to a bespoke piece of original art that's taken hours to produce? And when you get these canvases and things with prints on that you can buy in shops and stuff, do you think that the original artist that produced that design got paid nothing? you know, by the companies that decided to use them designs on these mass-produced canvases, you can guarantee they got paid plenty. But because the image is then just mass-produced, the manufacturer can then just charge cheap for them. But the artist that did the original image would have been paid plenty for that image and would have been paid plenty for the copyright for that image. And then manufacturer can afford to sell these mass-produced prints for cheap because they're only cheap to produce when you're mass-producing them. So I think artists have an hard enough time as it is without people expecting them to just work for nothing. So I wish people would just start taking artists a little bit more seriously and having a little bit more respect for what we do. If you've got any other things that you'd like to add to this discussion, please put them in comments, likely to result in interesting conversation. And if you like my video, please give it a like and maybe subscribe because I will probably be doing more videos like this in future as well as tutorials and just time lapses for you to watch for your own enjoyment or whatever things like that and I think that's all for now so see you later